Hey everybody, call me Felix, and the number one thing I miss from back home in the United States that's not readily available in the Philippines is New York deli style meats, especially pastrami, as in the world famous Cass's Delicatessen pastrami. Eat it Reuben style or plain with deli mustard on rye bread. Either way, Katz's Deli's pastrami sandwich is one of the best sandwiches you'll ever eat in your life. If there's ever a come home to mama moment for me, it's Katz's Deli pastrami. But as it turned out, I discovered a pastrami sandwich or two in Metro Manila that could rival Deli from New York City. This establishment is Deli by Chelly, a street food pop-up on the posh side of BGC in Metro Manila serving up honest-to-goodness authentic New York-style pastrami out of brisket cuts, even out of Wagyu beef. Deli by Chelly also delivers around Metro Manila with ready-made sandwiches and DIY build boxes that you can make at home that are as good as being there at the night market. Thanks to a fixer I have down in Metro Manila, I was able to get Deli by Chelly pastrami sandwich build boxes way up north home to Ilocos Norte, as well as some charcuterie including the highly sought-after jamon iberico and manchego cheese, but that's for another video. In this one, we're trying out Deli by Chelly's New York brisket and Wagyu pastrami sandwiches to see if indeed they're almost worth the salt they're brined in to live up to New York deli standards. Did these pastrami sandwich build boxes live up to the hype? Keep watching to find out. Good news for us. Yeah, very good news. We have this Deli by Chelly. Chelly? Mm -hmm. Chelly. Jelly, I guess. Mm, very good packaging, yes. Alright, so, oh. Alright, so what do we have here? So we have bought four sandwiches from Deli by Chelly in Metro Manila. And they use sourdough bread as the toast. And we're gonna toast this for a few minutes in some butter. Um, per their instruction. So. That's that here. You can see how airy. Look at the air bubbles here. It's beautiful. Okay. And each box, each build box here, comes with instructions, by the way. And what is this? Oh, pickles. Pickles. Yes. Okay. And then we should open up our meat box. Mmm. -hmm. And so today we're trying out two different pastrami sandwiches. One is the New York style brisket pastrami. The key here is it's brisket. Pastrami, tr the traditionalist will say it's made with the navel, which is the really fatty cut of the belly of the cow. Um, instead, what you're getting is brisket. And this is more for a corned beef cut because it's, so, it's chewy. It's got a little bit of fat, but it's mainly lean. And chewy. So that's New York style brisket pastrami. And we're gonna try this other more opulent pastrami. This is Wagyu beef pastrami. Wow. Wow, we can't wait for that. So we're gonna try out those two sandwiches. And what's in here? Open it up, Warren. And that is some mayo mustard. So this sandwich is pretty basic, but um, there's pickles, there's mustard mayo, and then yeah. there's the star of it, the pastrami and some sourdough bread. Um, that's for another one, Warren, that's not it. Oh. That's for charcuterie. We have big Wagyu beef pastrami, mm -hmm. New York style brisket pastrami. Yes. All right. So we're gonna... Um, and this, of course, traveled from Manila all the way up here to Ilocos Norte. Only took mm -hmm. a couple days, basically. Um, thanks to my fixer. So it says mm -hmm. here in simmering water, immersed vacuum pack pastrami, mm -hmm. simmer for four to five minutes. Open Not 45 minutes, Not right? 45. Four to five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Warren. I got brown on that. Yeah, he oh, thought. Yeah, open minutes. vacuum pack, remove pastrami. Let's rest for another five minutes, five minutes before okay. consumption. And That's pretty cool. So, th these build boxes here, they travel from Manila to Ilocos. Deli by Chelly, you could get the ready to eat, mm -hmm. in which you could just warm it up, but that's not convenient for us, given that it takes one day to get here. So, we, they have build boxes in which you can make the sandwiches yourself, and it's much preferred way. 
So first step we're going to do, we're going to simmer this yeah, simmer for first. four to five minutes in some boiling water. So we're going to wait for that to come to a boil. And of course helping me out is Warren. Warren rated GG. He's going to... I'm back guys. Set you up the... Me? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to set up the sandwich for me. Yeah. As always. As he's done with my instant noodles. And Warren very recently tasted pastrami for the first time in his life. What did you think about that pastrami? This is not actually not the deli by Chelly pastrami by the way. Oh really? No. Okay. No. So well let's see. Mm -hmm. How is it that taste? So how did, it, how did that taste? That uh, other pastrami that you've had? Well, the other pastrami that I had is last time we ate the <laughs> essential goods. Yeah. 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 Their pastrami is actually good. You were amazed by it, but yeah. I'm I, I have gonna put a good size bet that you're gonna be more impressed by this pastrami. And this is from a local deli again. It's a new one in Metro Manila called Deli by Chelly. They also have some awesome, awesome. Um, charcuterie that we can't wait to do for another video um, and by the way this video is not sponsored by Deli by Chelly we're just doing this voluntarily to spotlight local Philippine um, local Philippine food Deli by Chelly baka yeah. naman yeah promotion you know? <laughs> yep. you know what I mean Deli by Chelly yep so it's again this is not sponsored this is like a deli that we found in Metro Manila and again to satisfy my own personal pastrami cravings all right so what simmering now yeah. so right now we're simmering this um, the meat we're just gonna warm up uh, the vacuum sealed packs in there for four to five minutes not 45 minutes <laughs> four to five, five minutes. minutes there you go four to five minutes or got it four to five minutes we're working on um, Warren's American accent, by the way, in preparation in case that he can go to the United States with us. Yeah, go back I put home. This now? Yeah, just like yeah, I put it in for four to five minutes. Mount, say mountain. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> mountain. Mountain. Okay. All right. Oh, you putting all of it in there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to get cousin JP's second opinion on our pastrami sandwiches, so we're putting all of it in there. So two sandwiches now. for each one of them. Yeah, time starts now. Warren the cyborg. Yeah. You gotta remember five Four minutes. Four minutes and fifty-five seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Warren cyborg timer, as you have seen from my other, you know, instant noodle prep videos. This is instant pastrami sandwich. Mm -hmm. All right, time to. Five minutes, almost done. Yeah. We're gonna open these now for the instructions. And then let it cool for five minutes. And then we're gonna do our toast. Butter our sourdough toast and brown it to a golden brown. Yep. Now I have to say I am tempted just to grab one right out of the out of the uh, bag as as uh, Warren's doing this, but I am gonna show some restraint and just wait till putting it packing it in our sandwich. Oh we still wish get pastrami. Right. Yes. Just now. Let's separate the two so nicely, will you? Yeah. We'll okay. Ooh. Ooh la la. Juice, yeah. Ooh la la. So I guess I'll talk about pastrami, especially I think for my Pinoy viewers about pastrami. Um, typically there's a, it's quite a convoluted process to get pastrami, um, make pastrami because it involves some Smoking for a lo at low temperature, usually for a few days, and then it also requires some boiling, and then it requires some steaming to make it extra tender. So then, if you go to a Jewish deli uh, back home in the states, a really good, reputable one, they will, you know, this is the reason why they steam it to give it that, you know, the last steam bath, the last steam bath treatment. So that it becomes extra tender for them to carve and you know I'm thinking of course of Katz's Deli and uh, how they cut it and you basically it, it, it there's a special process even to the cutting is it takes years of practice to perfect it almost like like a ascendancy of a sushi chef yeah it's the same with a pastrami cutter at Katz's Deli and what makes it kind of the signature is that black pepper crust 
And it also has a, you know, other things in that rub, especially that coriander that, that gives it that signature, you know, twang, that acidic, the acidity. Look at that Wagyu pastrami. Looks like it's very tender. Look at that. Very, very tender. This is a Wagyu beef brisket too, by the way. So you have, you know, New York brisket. I believe this is like USDA grade beef. And then this here is Wagyu beef brisket. So neither of these are um, navel cuts. Okay, so right here, the Wagyu pastrami. So let's just wait this five minutes until it cool down. Yeah, exactly. All right, put it inside. We're gonna um, toast our, butter our toast. And Warren has never buttered his toast before. And so that's the reason why he's putting butter in a pan to do it on both sides. Yeah. Well, the instructions clearly say, generously apply butter on both sides of the toast. So he, Warren is a rebel, so he's just gonna do it this way because he thinks it's easier. Yeah, it's easier. It's the Filipino way of doing things. Whatever is the easiest, right? Yeah. yeah. Make sure we get a nice golden brown out of the yeah. sourdough toast. Put some butter in. Yeah. So flip it a couple times, I think, to kind of get that butter all incorporated. Oh. And by the way, sorry for the humming because that's our dryer. Now, of course, for you purists who love pastrami sandwiches, you're gonna say, well, rye bread is the ticket. Well, yeah, but I mean, let's keep an open mind, everybody. I come from California and you know, our neighbors to the north in San Francisco, and I lived there for a time, swear by their sourdough. Yeah. And of course, the sourdough has like a sour twang, and you can see all those beautiful air bubbles there. And then that crust should be crusty a bit to contrast with the airiness of that sourdough. Okay, so Warren finally realized you need to butter your toast before getting it in the pan. I just wanted to make that note because Warren was a bit confused as to what he yeah. wanted to do it the easy so now, way. Now I can figure it out. What's yeah. wrong with it though? Yeah. And he's just he's kinda of doing a mixture of both both techniques there. Mm. Need that leftover butter. Alrighty, Warren is gonna plate up, make the sandwiches now. He's gonna put that New York brisket right there. Mm. Ding, now, ding, typically, ding. like the way they do it at Katz's is they kind of do like that cascading effect where it's like whoosh, all the meat on there, but this is not. So then he's just basically matching the length of, oh no, you're supposed to do them on different sandwiches all right okay so let me see. so then you put now warren got kind of he knows that we're in a bit of a rush today because we're doing another vlog straight after this and i hope you guys stay tuned for that next video because that's going to be a doozy if you can believe another food video after this um so He's already, he kind of mixed the brisket and like, you know, JP sandwich meat got mixed with mine and the same with there, so. So what's your, and why is he in New York City? Yeah. New York pastrami. So that is a bit of Warren's bad on that. If it, if it don't, you know. Yeah. Get the, mo the, the exact portion here. So there you go, there's that mayo mustard. Just put it, slather it all on there. Don't need to be dainty, Warren. The only thing is Warren's always so dainty. Dainty? Dainty! No, you know, deity. deity! No, I mean, not <laughs> go far uh, from it! Deity. God of War. I'm glad you know what deity means. But, yeah. But dainty you definitely are when making this dang thing. Come on. Just, 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 just take a massive, just drop it like it's hot and just like put slather on that bread. Dang it, Warren! Just, just, just do it. Right. Okay. All right, I'll close it and then 
do a center cut so it kind of looks cool. Yeah. Cut down the center so then you give that nice half cross section to the folks at home. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get it down in that low berry white voice. Yeah. Oh, that sounds more like Macho Man. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, 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 there, there it is. Mmm. Looks fine. very good. Um, <laughs> why? I, did, I thought you didn't <laughs> want to try it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, the love. Okay. Now we got to do our Wagyu pastrami. Let's put that there. I realize, further instruction, I'm kind of letting this pastrami rest a little bit. It's still a bit warm to the touch here. Supposed to be eaten warm, but you know, the quality I think will still shine through no matter what. This is the Wagyu pastrami. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Wow. Yeah, wow. Put some more. Once again, poor JP might be shorted a little bit. <laughs> Like, be shorted a bit. Yes, pack it up higher. So let's, it's a nice trade. War, uh, JP could get more brisket, and I get more Wagyu. Nah. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, this looks so good. It looks so close to Katz's Deli Pastrami, too. I will say. And let's add some of those pickles. Now, I'm also excited about even the pickles at Deli by Chelly because we all... I, I said in my Shake Shack blog that we don't get good pickles up here, you know? And and if we do, they tend to be the Spanish type that are uh, mild. And I want mine a little more punchy with the, the sour. And of course, the texture also matters because um, you get that crunch. It's making me miss Katz's Deli pickles, too. Because they give you um, a half-sour pickle, and then they give you the full-on sour. Ugh. It's making me miss Katz's Deli. But again, here in the Philippines, I would be so, so thrilled if we can get even three-quarters of the type of sandwich that you can get in New York. Or Los Angeles, for that matter, because... Langer's number 19. That's all I have to tell you. Langer's number 19. Oh my goodness. This I'm really looking forward to. Look at this. This one really does look stacked with meat. <laughs> JP's gonna get shorted. <laughs> the sounds, man. The sounds, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because we have that crunchiness, yes. crispiness. Yes. Don't keep me, don't keep me waiting. Like come on. Sexy, sexy reveal. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That that really looks like a like cactus deli quality stuff there. Wagyu pastrami. I can't wait to bite into this. And of course, we're going to try the New York brisket uh, first. All right, it's time. No more talk. We're gonna get right into our sandwiches, but we're gonna start with my inky dinky brisket one. Uh, JP's gonna get a little more brisket in his. Um, so this is, again, this is more like a corned beef sort of cut. I'm gonna try this out. Just, it's just got this awesome sourdough bread, nice and golden brown. And then those pickles, that mustard mayo, and then the brisket itself. Can't wait to try this out. I don't know how to attack this, but this side. What I'm getting is a like a mild, you know, there's a, like a mild twang from that coriander. The meat itself is more on, yeah, it's kind of like a corned beef sort of thing, but with a pastrami flavor profile. I mean, corned beef and pastrami are totally different. And cut and then the taste, because corned beef tends to be saltier. This one tends to be pep more peppery and it has that little um, acidic twang. And then the sourdough 
helps to um, keep a little more of that acidic twang going to let it persist. I'm really digging the edges of fat in that biscuit pastrami sandwich. Hmm. Because the fat, of course, lends more flavor, lends more texture, lends more unctuousness. And of course, this bread, nice, like, crusty texture just a bit. There's some airiness there. And then, also, uh, keeps that twang, that refreshing twang going. It's that subtle. Um... And of course, you're getting more acidity from those pickles. And again, this is rich. So, you definitely need a little, like, creaminess from that mustard mayo. And a little more pungency, astringency from the pickles, from that mustard, from that sourdough. For me, being a purist also, somewhat of a purist, I wish there was a little more of that mustard just, like, jumping out. The pickles? Mmm... The pickle, I think, you know, I cheated and had one little pickle earlier today. It's, I love pickles. They have, like, a little burst of, like, a um, vinegary punch. And then it just fades and it's, like, you know, um, not as pronounced after. And in the sandwich, I kind of feel it's gotten a bit lost. You got more of that pickle in this bite. Yeah. Just a mild twang from those pickles. Mm. Now, of course, if you're a true purist... Here I go again about purist stuff. It's just pastrami on rye bread and deli mustard. Right? And then your pickles off to the side. But this is another, you know, presentation of it. So, I mean, this is also quite welcome. Yeah, sourdough. So it gives you more chew than you get from, you know, rye. The licorice that comes with pastrami is also kind of, uh, muted. So if you don't really like that licorice sort of taste to go with, like, that, um, sour twang from the, um, coriander. This is more, this is the balanced solution, I guess you could say. And I think it's a good portion. One half is... One half of the sandwich is... I think for some people, would be very happy with that portion. But as you can see, I'm a glutton. So, then I can finish all this. I really like that texture of that bread, too. Despite Warren kind of... You know, not paying attention to detail. He just thought that he can do it his own way. About just searing the butter in the pan. And then drizzling the butter drippings out of it. No. But it still turned out delicious. Okay. This, I'm truly excited about. Because it really does look like a pastrami sandwich you get at a top deli in America. Not quite catches. And, and I mean, there are some New Yorkers who will say, No, that's not the gold standard of pastrami sandwiches. Some other place. I mean, that's the beauty of, like different experiences and having different opinions, right? So, for me, I've yet to try all New York Deli. I would want to someday, hopefully next year. So stay tuned for that. Gosh, look at this. So again, this is a brisket cut of the Wagyu here. Now you can feel that it's almost like tearing into shreds on its own because it must be that tender. Okay, really looking forward to this one. Let's go. I feel that the, with this one, I'm getting like the fullness of that black pepper. Not so much like the texture of the black pepper crust. It's just that that black pepper elevates the taste of the savoriness, the deep meatiness of that Wagyu very well. Hmm. And then I feel like Warren did a better job with this one spot as far as getting more mayo in. So it's so creamy as well. It complements everything. That bread again, really good sourdough. This is coming from a Californian as well. 
Okay. Another melee bite. And of course, really impressed with that first one. Let's go for a second. I got a little more tender piece of that bread away from the crust. I feel the creaminess binds together. Again, I feel the pickles are taking a back seat here. So it's not necessarily perfect, but my goodness. Let me just tell you again, we're in the, the province of the Philippines. We're out in, you know, I mean, you look out here. This is the jungle in our backyard. They get pastrami sandwiches here in the Philippines. This, even like the level of what you get back home as a, res a very good sandwich is remarkable. Keep in mind, guys, this is an instant build box. This was not, you know, piping hot at their street food pop-up in, I think, BGC, down in Metro Manila. So, you can imagine if you have this, like, really fresh, piping hot. And again, we did... Almost everything to the letter if it wasn't for Warren on the bread. But, yes. I can only imagine how they, they could get even better than this. Yes. Uh, because these, this, this, um, Wagyu pastrami is kind of like tearing into shreds. And of course, because it's also a brisket cut. It's not as juicy as you get from a navel cut. Like, I remember... Katz's Deli, not so much about the brininess or the, the spice rub or the twang there of that meat. All I remember was the juiciness of that meat and the fat and so on. Here, you have some juiciness here, but you're also getting more chew. Once again, it's a brisket cut. But I'm not slating it. I'm not saying that it's like worse or I'm not saying anything like that. But this is still a very good sandwich. Once again, I feel like with the creaminess, I'm getting a little more saltiness now too with this Wagyu pastrami. That more elevated umami's taste is coming out. It's just lovely to behold. I think I'm going to have Warren try this out. What he's doing for the other halves. See what he thinks about all this. And we will get JP's other opinion because we were craving pastrami sandwiches. I was telling him about New York Deli. He's not been to New York yet. But I was telling him all about the wonders of New York Deli. And LA Deli for that matter. There are some great Jewish delis in Los Angeles back home. So, really looking forward to what he thinks. Of course, I already gave you what I think about these sandwiches. I mean, basically on point and delicious. Okay, Warren is back and he's gonna try out yeah, on my own. Yeah, his brisket pastrami sandwich, the New York brisket. How do we feel about this? Well, yeah, hold on. <laughs> he's experiencing tastes and textures he's never felt in his life. He's taking another bite. He's got to figure out what it is he's tasting. You know what, guys? Huh? This pastrami is better than the burgers. I mean, <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Pastrami is better than burger. I really like the mm, the scots. Mm hmm. And then the beef. Mm -hmm. The beefiness. Yeah. We can taste it purely. Mm hmm. Okay. What do you think about that bread? Just a little. I think this is a. The first time you've ever tried sourdough. So, what do you yeah. think about sourdough? I mean, that kind of gives the name away, doesn't it? Mm hmm. There's a little bit of sourness, but not too much. You got a balance between the crust of the bread. It's crusty. A little crispy. But then you get the soft, like, airy texture. Yeah, it's actually better if you if you toast it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And you know, you let those, like, that mayo melt in there. Let that butter melt in there. Makes it so, you know, smooth, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The supple and... Mm. Wow. It, and the other thing is, it gives it enough depth. He, he, can't, he, can't, he can't stop biting, he can't stop biting that sandwich. Oh my oh, goodness. My God. All right. <laughs> okay, Warren. Now, I want you to try this Wagyu pastrami sandwich. Do tell me, you're impressed by this one, but so let's see how what... So this one? Yeah. Ah. What's his name again? What? Smoked beef pastrami? 
That is the Wagyu. Oh. Pastrami. What do you think about that? Uh, it's actually pure beef. It is pure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It's Wagyu beef. It tastes a bit sweeter, right? Because if you if you want to buy um some burgers here. <laughs> well, we're talking, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're comparing apples and oranges yeah. about burgers and pastrami. But what do you think about this sandwich? Now that you've tried the Wagyu pastrami compared to the New York brisket you just had. <laughs> this one's pretty good. Pretty good, huh? How pretty good are we talking about? 100% heaven. <laughs> hey guys, you mm. must try this, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think about the juiciness of the beef? What do you think about the, yeah, the beef itself? Tenderness and juiciness? Yeah. Yeah. One more, huh? I'll taste that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like that pep black pepper kind of uh, elevates yeah, I the... Yeah, uh, black the pepper. It's very thing. mild, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think that it elevates the meat, though. Yeah. So there aren't really any sharp, uh, like very sharp acidic flavors here. And of course you don't want it too sharp, but you always like that. For me, I prefer mine a little, have that little sharpness there, more of it. Just a teensy bit more. And he's hard time putting that down. <laughs> what do you say? You guys talk about New York. Ah, uh, New York City. A taste of New York City, huh? Yes. But, yeah. Ha! <laughs> bite. Oh! Oh, man! 800 pesos of beef. Actually, more, I think it's closer to 900. Oh, it's closer to 900. Per sandwich. Do you and think it's uh, sobrang is, sulit? Yeah, guys, this is worth it, I promise you. <laughs> yeah. Glad to hear the first real pastrami sandwich. Sir Ben, you want to try? Well, cousin JP is going to take a bite of his New York brisket pastrami sandwich. Let's see this. It looks delicious. It is amazing, yeah. I don't know how that taco is. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. 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 What can you say? Speechless. It's <laughs> delicious. Mm? The bread. Pastrami. Mm -hmm. Is that mayo mustard? Yeah. It's mayo nice. mustard. Delicious. Mm -hmm. That's, reminds me of the States. Yes, it does. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and now I think Gio's gonna help play uh, JP sandwich with Wagyu pastrami. <laughs> I took more of it than you. <laughs> so we did make a trade basically. JP got more brisket, <laughs> and then I got more Wagyu. Was it Wagyu? Wagyu is also brisket. Did by you the way. tell? Yeah, there's quite a good difference. Let me. Try it out. Okay. Now that you know what your brisket, uh, regular brisket just tastes like. Just make half a sandwich. Just like cut that in half. Mm -hmm. So you can just fold it over. Oh my gosh, root beer, cousin Ben! Nice. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Ooh, yum. Here. I think I'm sorry. Root beer, and this is mug root beer. I wish you guys had barks over here in the Philippines, but whatever. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. It's refreshing. Hey, it's like New York. You're in the jungle of Pit Dig, but it feels like on this table a slice of New York. A slice of New York. Mm-hmm. Gio has made JP's Wagyu pastrami sandwich. You're gonna have to put that down in JP and try the okay. one half of that Wagyu pastrami sandwich. How does it look like? As you can see, I took the lion's share of Wagyu, so. <laughs> Listening. No, it's good. Let's see. Oh, mm. well. You can tell the difference, yeah. can't you? Mm -hmm. Tastes beefier. Mm -hmm. And the pepper literally lifts the savoriness of that meat. Almost like more umami flavor. It's um, buttery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buttery too. <sighs> mm -hmm. So we learned our lesson today, everyone. We surely learned our lesson. What was the lesson today? I don't know what it is. Up, Something about sandwiches, yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think, Gio? Oh. <laughs> uh. mm. Mm. 
it's good sir very <laughs> uh, <I don't> <laughs> you're very he's speechless too let's just say that let's yeah. just say that much so i'm also speechless that we can get good i mean not just good but great new york deli pastrami sandwiches in the philippines yeah and and the bread from, yeah the bread's and, really good and very great sourdough too yeah yeah you know, for me, coming from a Cal as a California boy, I can say vouch sourdough is also awesome. Mm. Yeah. That's Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Miracle. Yeah, and they ship well. I don't know if they ship well. They ship for free on uh, in Metro Manila. You're gonna have to get a fixer like I did to bring it up to wherever province you live if you're in the Philippines. But it's well worth it if you got some change. To spare. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to get one shout out to Deli by Chelly for making some awesome pastrami sandwiches. By the way, we're not sponsored by them. So this is an impartial review, everybody. Impartial. And, and we were so curious because JP and I sometimes, you know, when we have our talks, we will miss so many things like cold cuts mm -hmm. in the United States. And I told them about pastrami. And I told them about this place, Deli by Chelly. In Metro Manila, and I said, "Man, I wish they would ship up here. Um, they kind of can, but you know, they took you know, they kind of can, but um, because I have my cousin who helped fix this, we got this faster than usual. So, yeah, props. Delicious. Props. Yeah. Props to the delivery and props to mm -hmm. Deli by Shelly. Yeah, exactly. It's really good. After this video, we're gonna do another video, and that's gonna be a dessert. You don't wanna know what we had for dessert." <laughs> Something very special, and it comes from Malaysia. Malaysia export quality, grade A Musang King durian. So yeah. right after this, we're on another blog. So stay tuned for that one, everybody. And Warren, wherever you are, uh, Warren doesn't want to give this spiel. Malaysian durian. Yeah. Warren. It's time to wrap this up with the spiel. If you like this video, guys, be the right to subscribe for more pastrami video. Oh, we're gonna have more pastrami video? Yeah, I think more Harmony Berico and durian videos will do. Mm. Oh, today? Tomorrow? Next video? Next vlog? The durian next today! Get, get your durian knife already and get that package over there, as you can see. <laughs> That's our Musang King Durian from wow. Malaysia. It's absolutely ripe. That star's gonna burst. Yeah! Yeah, that's our next uh -huh. video, everybody! So keep cool but care and remember the empire never ended. All the sandwiches. Mmm.